All right, what's on the bench? We've got a mini circuit splitter, a six-way splitter. Uh, we got two of them and they are identical. All right, so you put one thing in and six things come out or you have six things and it, it uh, adds them all up to, uh, uh, to one. I don't know if you can, I don't know what the math looks like uh, if these uh, add things, uh, or they, I can't do multiplication, so I don't know. I'm not sure how it would mix if you put in two frequencies here and one out here. Maybe that's an experiment we can do in the future. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting device. and It's just hogged out aluminum. Real, real nice um, connectors. I love these big, big uh, connectors. Uh, mini circuits builds good stuff. What can we get from the outs? It's, it's 800 to 2000 megahertz. So it's just SMA, standard SMA to 2000 megahertz. Good. Um, yeah, I think. I'm not quite sure what these are. Maybe some kind of mounting thing. I don't know. I say we open one up and take a look inside. Let me uh, let me get a add an electric screwdriver and we'll take this thing apart. I use this one quite a bit. If you want to know which one this is, it's the uh, Fantic. Um, it seems to work good. But there are a bunch of brands. I've, uh, I think I have three or four brands that I've uh, uh, done reviews on the channel. I've never bought one for myself. All right. Any guesses as to what it's going to look like inside? I have my guess. Um, I've seen enough of these now. So let's see if I'm right. Ah, not, not exactly, no. I expected it to be more roundy. This one's very square looking. Um, the right, the same electrical constru construction that I thought, it's just um, uh, a little more, a little more square, right? We've got, uh, we've got some beveled angles on some of the, uh, some of the uh, trees. I forget what this architecture is called. So somebody, somebody probably knows you can comment down below. But uh, yeah, you come in here and you split it once and then you do that a couple times to balance things out and then it gets split into two halves and then they go over to other things and then they get split and they go to another thing, they get split. So you split it once, twice, and then into thirds, which is kind of an unusual thing. Huh, interesting. I haven't seen the, the one to three before. I've only seen one to two. So this one splits it one to two. And then each one of these splits it one to three. Interesting. All right, so that's something new. It's got one of those Teflon PC boards. Uh, if you actually touch them, they feel slippery. Uh, make a liar out of me. Let me let me rub it here. Yeah, it's slippery. It's kind of a weird um, uh, weird material. It's kind of like rubbery. Yeah, there you go. Lots of little resistors in there. Can we read any values on stuff? Um, yeah, they are different values. Uh, let's see here. It starts out 1100, then 1500, and then 2330. So, um, yeah, different, uh, Let's see here, let's measure some. I'll have to work my brain too hard and read read codes on read codes. But these are all gonna be in parallel too. So uh, yeah, when you come in, does it look like 50 ohms? Uh, does not, interesting. Huh, it is not. Yeah, so it's not DC. It says it starts at 800 megahertz, so it is isolated at DC. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I like it. So what were these end plug things? What were they doing? Why did they why did they put them in there? Let's take one out. 
fascinates me. I always question things that I don't understand why they're there. Like why? Why did they put this? I mean, it's obviously it was expensive to do that, right? Oops. What came out? Obviously, it was expensive to do this. They decided to have a hole there. Why would you do that? Comment below. Why would you do that? Uh, maybe there's a one by eight. I guess that's what it is. It's same the same PC board could be used, or the uh, same. Um, Enclosure could be used for a one. This is a one to six could be used for a one to eight uh, Must be it uh, All right, I wonder if you buy a one by four it they plug up a couple more holes. I don't know Anyway, that's what that mystery is just to make it more Make it more I want more sir Okay Anyway, I guess we can hook it up and see if it works all right, before we put it back together, it's got some foam. When you put this thing on, uh, the foam is here, and it is conductive foam. So I'm reading uh, 5K, 2K, 3K, all the way across 5K. Yeah, so about 5K, about 5K ohms of uh, conductance in the, uh, in the foam. It goes like this. So that kind of just keeps everybody happy. Okay, let's sweep this. Um, we're bringing in a signal here onto the port here. I've got 50 ohm loads on all the unused ports and I'm taking the, uh, taking the output of this one here, okay? And so um, the first thing we need to do is calibrate our machine. Forgot to do that. Uh, let's see here. So let me find a through. Yeah, here is a through. We're going to be using a, the Siglent Spectrum Analyzer and a uh, Tracking Generator option. And we'll be doing an S21 measurement without the phase. Uh, there we go. So if we come up to the uh, come up to the Siglent here, we can do a Tracking Generator. Um, store into the reference and normalize. Now we have a nice straight line. Okay, we've normalized. I put markers at 800 and uh, 2 gigahertz, which is what it's specified to. And so let's hook it up. Uh, uh, right here. Let's get the output connected. SMA connectors. There we go. Look at that. Interesting. All right. Uh, so once again, we have it uh, connected input output. Other everybody, everybody else is terminated. And I think you can see there. Let me brighten it up a little bit here. Um, it's very, very flat between those two markers. In fact, it will continue on a little ways. That's pretty nice. Let's turn another marker on here. Marker select three normal. So here's a here's a three marker. Yeah, I say it goes out to at least there, right? That's a 2.3 gigahertz, and we can get a little little bit extra on the low end, maybe 800 meg. Wait a minute, maybe uh, six six seventy six seventy on that side and 2.3 on that side. Yeah, very very. Very, very flat. And we're looking at an eight, uh, eight and a half dB loss. That's the throughput of the thing. So that's the problem with having such a, a large split. Uh, each port is only seeing uh, eight and a half, uh, a signal eight and a half dB lower than the input. Not too bad if you're splitting it eight ways though, right? Or uh, six ways, we're doing a six way split. But I'm amazed at how, how flat that is. Let's, uh, Let's look at the amplifier. Let's scale it up a bit here. Yeah, look at how flat that is. Wow. All right. Go mini circuits. That's a very, very nice unit. 
Uh, let's go up, uh, let's see here, let's do uh, two, 2 dB per, and let's move up the uh, uh, reference position. Let's move it up a bit so we can see what's going on here. Um, wow. Yeah, this is uh, 2 dB steps here. So let's go to 1 dB steps. Why not? Wow. Amplitude uh, scale 1 dB. And I'll go to the tracking generator here so I can move it up. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Less than a quarter dB of ripple. Yeah. Nice. Very, very nice. I don't know how much these cost, <laughs> but uh, they are worth the money if you need that kind of performance.